Hey guys, how are you all this week? Um, this week I'd like to talk to you about another parable. But first I'd like to say hello to uh, all of you, actually. I'm not even going to single out one of you this, year, this time. I think you're all very important to the kingdom of God, and I think that you all need to be said hello to. And knowing that you, I want you all to know that you're loved and cared for. But this week I'd like to talk to you about a parable from Mark. They call it the parable of the sower. And it says, And he taught them many things by parables. As he taught, he said, Listen, a sower went out to sow, and it happened that as he sowed, some seed fell along the footpath, and the birds came and ate it all up. Some seed fell on the, on the rocky ground, where it had little soil, and it sprouted quickly, because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun rose, the young corn was scorched, and as it had no proper root, it withered away. Some seed fell on among the thistles, but the thistles shot up and choked the, the corn, and it yielded no crop. And some of the seed fell into good soil, where it came up and grew and bore fruit, and, and the yield was thirty, sixty, or even a hundredfold. So he said, you do not understand this parable? How then are you to understand the, any parable? The sower sows the word. Those along the footpath are people in whom the word is sown, but no sooner have they heard it when the Satan comes and carries off the word which has been sown in them. It is, it is the same with those who receive the seed on rocky ground. As soon as they hear it, the word, they accept it with joy. But it strikes no root in them and they have no staying power. Then when there is trouble or persecution on account of the word, they fall away at once. Others receive the seed among the thistles. They hear the word, but worldly cares and false glamour of wealth and all kinds of evil desire come in and choke the word and it proves barren. And there are those who receive the seed in good soil. They hear the word and welcome it and they bear fruit 30, 60 or a hundred fold. <clears throat> See, my understanding of this parable is that we go out into the world and we share the gospel or the word of Christ with all of those around us. Not just other Christians, but all of those that are not Christian as well. It is our job to share the word so that they could experience Christ's love and see what he does in our lives so that we have, we can show the world his light. Um... <clears throat> You know, you know the, the thing is, in some situations, the word has hardly any chance before the devil comes in to, to take it away from that person's heart. In others, it's shallow and it can't root because the person's faith can't endure. And of course, we all know what worldly chasing of, of stuff and things can do to us. And how it can destroy our faith in Christ if something so simple is taken away from us. But we know that all of those things, all those bad things that can take away what we share with others, is made up for by just one person who is fertile ground, who Christ can take up and, and, glor and he can be glorified through that person. So this week I'd like you all to think about what I've, about this lesson. But I'd like you to sit down and ask yourself, which of the four kinds of so soils do you res resemble? Are you going to be easily choked off? Are you going to be easily have the word snatched from you? Or are you going to be the soul in fertile ground? Ask your parents which one of the four kinds of soil that they think they are. Ask them to tell you st stories and share messages that they've shared with others to try and help them to understand Christ's love. And then at the end of it all, ask yourself, are you bearing fruit? Have you taken up root? Can you truthfully share God's word? You know, I saw a few of your smiling faces at church today. It's nice to see some of you back. I can't wait to see the rest of you and I hope to see you all again very soon. I love each and every one of you. God bless.